There are 165 luxury villas and vacation rentals in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at the prices. But as you can see, it's $5,500 per night. Luxury vacation rentals. I'm talking about expensive stuff. How much could you make on these? I woke up to money from my guy, fly guy, David Robinson, right? I went through his class and I made 140000 in 90 days. Airbnb does not own any hotels or any of the property. Or Uber does not own any vehicles. When a person books through your site and actually goes and stay at another hotel that's not yours, that is drop servicing by definition. This is a luxury retreat site right here, luxuryretreats.com. There are 165 luxury villas and vacation rentals in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at the prices. So you can open up and look at the uh, pictures and stuff like that. Matter of fact, we'll open this one up. But as you can see, it's $5,500 per night. So what I, oh, you don't even have to open it up. My bad. Let me just do that boom that is the inside boom 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 so who are the type of people that would rent something like this all right these are the rappers the musicians the artists the singers the real estate moguls the uh, um the the high income entrepreneurs and stuff like that the the ceos and things like that see when you're thinking about drop servicing on fiverr and stuff like that the the type of person that goes there to fiverr is just other marketers that are from youtube and stuff like that looking to get cheap uh channel art and banners and stuff like that so you're not going to be able to make huge conversions off of that but when you go into high ticket drop servicing this is something totally different. The customer that comes to the site is in a different mind frame and in a different tax bracket. So you're still doing the same type of marketing. You can still do Facebook ads. You can still do SEO uh, to get your conversions with this, but it's going to be higher tickets. So the customer getting the customer is going to be the same process. It's not going to be uh, any more difficult than if they were paying cheap. Trust me. Okay. Like it, they pay with the credit card and then they go. That's it. So you can just come here and you can look around. I might link to these in the description so you can just take a look. All right, look at this one. A little bit cheaper. All right, and then this one is 731 per night. It's eight guests and four bedrooms, four baths. You know how you like to do it up. People like to do it up. You might have even uh, rented one of these before watching this once upon a time. All right, so starts going down a little bit. Starts going down. Look at this one in Hollywood, three thousand eight hundred and ninety-five dollars per night. All right, so you can live it up in luxury. I like this one, but it's seven hundred and ninety-nine per night. So would you, what would you bump something like this up to? I would bump this up to maybe like twelve hundred because it's like on the cheaper end and everything like that. But the ones that are like this, people won't even notice if you change this to three thousand. Nobody would notice this one if you change this one to 6000 because they're already prepared to pay $4,000 per night. So do you think they care about a couple thousand dollar difference, especially when you give them a crap load of bonuses? I teach you guys on this channel to always give more, always give more than your competition. Don't look at it like you're coming out of anything. Any bonuses, anything free, anything like you can give them a free guide. If they're visiting the city, you can put together a free to do list of free fun things to do in Los Angeles list to them and give them that. That would just be that would that would make you set apart from anybody else that's just going to hand them the keys to the room. All right. You can give them discounts on on, on uh, exotic car rentals because they're not trying to ride around and anything less than stylish if they're doing this for that night you can give them discounts on party buses and blah 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 all different type of things just use your brain use your creativity enough to get them to go ahead and purchase through you don't just make it blank and say okay you can don't do what these guys are doing even though they're making a lot of money don't don't just like here's the price you need to have after your price plus this plus this bonus plus that bonus plus this bonus plus that bonus plus a discount on that plus a discount on that and you can do that by signing up to all different types of freebie sites and affiliate companies and all of this discount companies coupon companies and things like that are making your own local connections like i like to do 
All right, so restaurants, they're going to be going to like five star restaurants. So which five star restaurants can you make a connection with, uh, you know, call them and make a deal with them and see if you can get discounts for your clients. If you're going to do some kind of marketing or an exchange, sending them customers and stuff, can you get some kind of discount for your clients and stuff like that? Very, very, very simple to do. All right. Find out what people want and then bargain with them. Look at this one. 14 guests, seven bedrooms. Okay, 6.5 baths. It's four thousand dollars a night. Like I said, I would definitely bump this up to about six, seven. One of those. Okay, all right. So you can just come here and look. But this is not anything new. This is not anything new. These are the people that you watch on YouTube all day, living the life, while uh, um, us and our relatives pay monthly rent and, and it's cheaper and all that stuff. Okay, all right. So here's another site called the Luxury Rental Group. See they only deal in luxury all right so they're attracting the type of customer that we're not used to if we're doing cheap drop servicing or drop shipping all right you have to portray what you want and you will attract it to yourself if you get if you get if you guys get what i'm trying to say okay hopefully you guys get what i'm trying to say okay so i don't really like this one come on villa way all right these guys they specialize in villas all right, I'm going to cut that one out. Let's just stroll down. And these are all template sites. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to get this site built in maybe like 24 hours for less than 50 bucks. All right, looking just like this, operates just like this. You can have this site cloned. All right, get it? Cyclone? Cyclone. Okay. Anyway, uh, this one is $13.75 per night. All right, eight. Okay, four bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So they got some nice properties on here, man. Some nice properties on here. And you can choose uh, by by price and destination and everything like that if you want to go up and be able to charge more. If you put more, see right now it's set to two bedroom, two bath and all of that. So you can add all this right here and then it will change, especially the budget will go up. All right, so let me show you vacation rentals. I'm going to close out of this one too. And then I'm going to show you how you will go about getting traffic to these. All right. So I'm going to show you traffic and then I'm going to show you, all right, David, I do want to do this one. This one is interesting. This is the drop service and niche I want to go into, the luxury vacation rentals, David. So how will I get traffic to it? I'm going to show you all of that. All right. Give me a second. Bear with me. All right. All right. I'm not lying. So you should bear with me. Get it? All right. So this is three fifty nine per night, seven hundred per night, fifteen forty five per night. So I just wanted to show you that it's not just one company doing this. It's not just two companies doing this. It's a crap load of companies drop servicing. This is high ticket drop servicing. I only bring you guys value on this channel. I only show you different things that you can be doing not the same that everybody else is doing so i want to give you guys a jump start a head start on the competition before this stuff becomes uh saturated and what i mean by that is right now is the big boys doing it and there's not too many uh lower level so-called marketers doing it so if you guys hop on it right now then you can get an edge on everybody else my bad that's an alarm let me cut this alarm off real quick one with this little damn phone guys my bad, we got a lot of alarms in this house. But anyway, yes, yeah, so as you can see, I prove everything I say, guys, and I show you. I show you what I'm talking about so that you can go out and do it your damn self. Okay, and I reveal a lot of my niches that are gold to me just because, and you might say, David, why would you be showing us all of your niches that you make a lot of money in? Because chances are a lot of you guys aren't going to do what you need to do to actually pull this off. And it's sad though. It's very sad. And you consider that as a challenge. Go ahead. I don't mind. But majority of you guys, I'll say 98% of you, I might get like two people that say, David, I'm done setting this up. Oh, I got my first sale or my first uh, tr uh, transaction came in today. David, I just set up this automation, this system or something like that. I get that maybe once or twice a week. We have a party bus and limousine set up with uh, Auntie Job and David. Leads came in. We had a difficulty in our offer. He helped us adjust the offer. That hit. We got our first payment. It was for fifteen hundred. Uh, we're gonna attach a screenshot. I just want to let you guys know that 
the strategy works because once you get that offer right, it'll convert more. Now we have bookings for May, June, and July as well. Out of all of the hundreds or thousands of views that I get on these videos, maybe two or three people at most per week. And that's very sad because that means a nice percentage of you guys are just watching YouTube. That's, that's your life story. On your gravestone, it's going to say, I was a professional watcher. A professional watcher. So I challenge you guys to make a move. Do something, man. Like, do something, man. Do something. Okay, so if you're watching these videos and stuff, why? You have to ask yourself, why are you watching it? Is it just entertainment? Because if it is, just go watch some Netflix. If you're going to make a move, make a move if you want to change your life. It's 2020. Look how fast that came up. You were just 18 last year, you feel like. Now you're 50. Okay, so you need to make a move. Time flies. And the more you just sit and watch for no reason, the longer you're going to be broke and the faster your life is going to pass you by and nothing good and eventful is going to happen for you. So there's no point in watching this if you're not going to do anything. All right? All right. So, all right. So I just showed you VRBO. A lot of you guys know this site. All right. It's well known. So now, how do you get a site like this? All right. So you can literally come over here to Fiverr. Like I said, you can look. Watch this. Clone. All right. You can search that. They will duplicate or clone any website. Or you can just type in this, man. Zillow Real Estate Directory site. So here it is. Build a real estate directory or listing site. Do you guys see that? Okay. I think you got some images to show you. All right. Boom. See? Looks just like what we're looking at. All right. And it might be another thing you can. Let's see. Real estate classifieds. Uh, Alright, so basically we found you one right here. It's some more. I'll probably link out to them in the description or whatever. Never around when I'm looking for stuff, right? That's how I go. But anyway, so yeah, we found you a couple. You can also just type in uh, build classified site and you're going to have a whole crap load of people that just specialize in building classified site. I will make a free classified site for you. Uh, I will build WordPress listing directory site. And you can just go through these guys and pick according to um, according to your your you know your liking. All right, so check check this one out. I will clone ready made classifieds website. Boom, there you go. I'm gonna link that one to you guys. All right, so basically you'll give them any site. All right, and then he'll clone it. All right. Any directory site, kind of like one of these that we were just looking at. Uh, VRB, Luxury Retreats, uh, Airbnb, blah, blah, blah. And it will be fully functional. And you just get a domain for it and all of that. And then you start driving traffic to it. So, David, how do I drive traffic to it? All right. So, you want to attract the type of customer that you want to get conversions from. Remember what I said. So, here. Here are some uh, suggested keywords for you. Luxury, vacation, home, rentals in California. Obviously, it will be your city. Mansions for rent. Okay, so this is not homes for rent. You're not going to go after the keyword homes for rent because that's going to attract anybody, just, just random people. And you're not even just going to go after vacations for rental. You're going to go after stuff like luxury vacations for rental. Okay, mansions for rental condos for rental you guys understand those type of things and then what are you going to do you need to show up in here if you don't know how to do paid traffic even though it's very simple to get right up in here it's more competitive up in here you can show up in here and once you're done with your seo uh campaign which i'm pretty sure this is might might even be a damn marketer all right once you're done with your seo campaign and end up in here you don't even have to do any paying anything to get traffic. You're going to get calls every single day or, or uh, people booking straight from the site. So let's see how competitive this is. It's only five pages. All right. So let's check another country. I mean, not country. Let's check another city. Uh, so what I would do, even if you're not in that town, I would try towns that's not as competitive. Uh, you want to get a lot of searches. But you don't want to get as as much, you know, uh, competition, if you know what I'm trying to say. 
and go after keywords like this long tail 20 bedroom mansion for rent look at that 20 bedroom imagine how much that costs to rent out all right so you don't even have to have a real estate license to do any of this stuff okay so orlando florida vacation rentals look at a lot of these ads that's how you know it's profitable man because there's a lot of advertisements on this page they can't even fit a snap pack on her okay so it is it, it's, it's gonna work for you guys if you make it work you gotta make it work man and this is in pretty much every damn city like pretty much every city man all right so preferably you would want to go after the cities that have the snack pack why because it's easier to get in here than it is to rank down here all right and it it only takes a little second to get up in here if you know what you're doing all right let's, let's see competition level over here in vegas in vegas look how crazy this is it's on it's 320 searches per month so here's another high ticket high volume niche i'm giving you guys with low competition it's only two pages let's check the second page there we go and then it gives us the third one <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's barely a third one okay so technically we'll just say it's two pages all right two pages for luxury vacation rentals this is high ticket and look at vrb at number one spot with the paid ads why do you think that is because this keyword is super lucrative for them and look at this celebrity mansions you can rent those out all right and then if you want to get super local you can deal with the people uh, the owners instead of sending them to other companies and everything like that all right las vegas vacation rentals by owner you can rank for that and then make deals with the owners to send the people that condos for rent las vegas strip think of how much money you'll make ranking for that okay so i want you guys to get this stuff before it's all saturated i'm literally trying to evolve the game for you guys uh giving you new niches and everything every single day so that you don't all go after the same niche i have over like 400 different niches that drop servicing and seo and all of that stuff works for uh with low levels of competition like this that has high ticket and high volume capabilities okay so just 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 <laughs> go ahead and make a move i showed you exactly the whole entire startup you can have all of this set up with before the week is out all right you can have all this set up with the week is out look at this just come here have this guy clone a real estate site for you for well look at this it's only five bucks two days delivery five bucks and he can clone your real estate site you get your domain then you get you an address, you verify that address in whatever city that you're in or whatever city you want to go in, and boom, you start getting traffic coming through. You bump those prices up uh, higher than your partner is. Like I said, if it's a $4,000 per night place, I would do six to $7,000 per night. That way you have a two to $3,000 profit. That way, even if you only got one that month, <laughs> you're doing it big, man. You're doing it big, okay? So look, listen, listen, look, look, junk in the truck. It don't have to be that difficult to to scale up in this marketing game. And that's what I'm trying to teach you guys. That's why I want you to change your 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 thinking because if you're steady chasing after 50 bucks, uh somebody was afraid to pay 69 bucks to get the damn tools and automations and all of that stuff that i was transferring over to them for free from builder all they need that you need the damn account so that i can transfer these sites over to you my funnels and and chatbot sequences and automations over to you so somebody was scared to pay freaking 69 dollars that's not the mentality that's going to be the future millionaires or billionaires that you think you're going to be if you're afraid investing into the tools to do the job I, you will slam the door on a roofer that came to your house talking about fixing a roof but was afraid to get his tools like i don't have no tools but i do know how to fix your roof get the hell out of here somebody's supposed to cut the grass but they want to use your line more but they're going around the city like they got a legitimate company you, they need to pay for their own line more. All right. It's the same thing. A painter come to your house. They have their own tools. A plumber come to fix something. He doesn't say, hey, can you go out in your tool shed and see if you got this wrench or that wrench? They come with tools. So if David is transferring his entire business over to you, the entire setup, 
all the systems and automations and David ain't charging you, you should be able to stop being a baby, get your tools. Since David ain't charging you what he usually charges people for consultations. Okay. So, I mean, there's people on, on, on here on this channel that can vouch that they paid me over $5,000 just to talk with me for an hour. Okay. For, for that guy that was asking how much I make, it was a guy that, um, that uh, freaking commented on a video earlier today or something like that. Like, how much do you make? Do, 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 do. You don't, you, you don't want to know, or you might do, but you wouldn't believe me if I told you because I'm such a humble and, and, and a, a regular dude. All right. But my point is this, you got to get your tools. You can't always be looking around for cheap, this cheap, that free, this free, that. Okay, fine. You want something free? I'm going to give you something free. I'm going to give you all of my business set up and completely free. But all everything is integrated on Builderall. So you need to go to Builderall. The link is in the description. You get one of the uh, the one of the accounts. It doesn't matter. But it can't be the free account because the free account won't let you use the softwares and it only let me transfer the funnels to you, but it won't let me transfer the chat box sequences and, and 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 you won't be able to use the Instagram autoresponder for lead generation and automations and everything like that. Don't be a baby, man. All right. Look at this. You're going to be making thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars per conversion on autopilot because Google is not the only thing that I'm going to be showing you guys. You're going to be getting conversions on Google. You're going to get Facebook ads for this stuff. And the Facebook ads are going to go straight to your messenger and the messenger is going to be connected to that chat bot that I'm talking about. And then they're going to make the booking straight from the freaking chat uh, 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 messenger. So you don't even have to get on the phone with anybody. Everything is automated on autopilot where you don't have to do anything but transfer the money to your partner when somebody makes a booking, which can also be outsourced to a virtual assistant for a super freaking cheek when you make an all of that damn money. That is the entire setup. All right. So I strongly suggest and strongly urge that you guys go ahead, go set up your uh, builder all account below and you would immediately get emailed uh, all of the templates, all of the ads, all of the systems and softwares that I use personally in my business. And we're way past six figures per month, way past. Anybody that's actually consulted with me personally know what David does. Okay. All right. So you get that. You're going to get years of knowledge and experience transferred over to you pretty much instantly. All right. So, hey, you can have a click, uh, a click funnels account. You can have a, a, a mini chat account, but it's better to have everything all in one freaking area. So I can just transfer it over to you with the pushes of a button. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because David does this on a daily and David cares about you. David wants you to make some moves and stop watching testimonials and become one. All right. Do that. So is it a scam when they say that you could make money starting an Airbnb business without having your own property? It's just a lot of videos. Here's one myself, but I'm going to prove to you with the guy that I'm going to be interviewing on this channel, which is why you definitely want to uh, actually subscribe. But anyway, he has 65 listings on Airbnb. Let me show you the one that I was staying in right here called Mario Azul. And if you've been on my channel any amount of time, you remember when I was in Mexico. Mexico. So I was staying right off the beach in this beautiful place right here. And this is how much you would pay per month. And this is total right here. So we're going to see exactly how much that is. For those of you who think I'm just making this up, let's go ahead and check the reviews and see if we can find me on Airbnb in 2021. This is during the scamdemic. Here I go right here from Mexico, Missouri, David right here. So now you might be wondering, well, how would I make money with this? Well, I'm going to show you a script right here a little bit later, and you're going to see how we can go about not having to use anyone's property, not having to even manage the property. All right. So this guy, 
that I'm going to be interviewing is already managing the property and it's not his property. So now we're taking it a step further where we're not going to manage it, deal with any messages or anything like that. We're just going to help them get more bookings. Now watch this. Can I list someone else's property on Airbnb? Now this plays into the script that I'm going to give you guys. So pay attention because a lot of you guys might be nervous. And this is literally just copy and paste, which is why we have the course below called copy and paste rentals. You're not going to do anything other than copy and paste these properties that are making thousands of dollars per month and get your cut. So it says, yes, you can manage someone else's property as long as the owner consents. Such management may include listing the property on Airbnb and other related sites dealing with bookings. But that's what Matt would do. I don't want to do that. So when I was talking to Matt, back then i was like yo i can get you some more bookings and just in case you guys don't believe me this is what i started doing i started using my skill set trade and barter to get lower rent and and all of these extra cool things that i know how to do and teach you guys so look this is where it is a a rich area apply a car phase one long-term rentals and then let's see if we're still ranking this is a year and some change later okay here we go this is mine right here got my call fire number right right there so proof in the freaking pudding baby so yes we do do this david does this all right so now we want to see how much we can actually make so let's come back up to this because it says that a, a, a co-host might get around 20 to 30 percent so we know that he's going to get around 20 to 30 percent we're going to take this right here we're going to copy this and i'm going to give you guys a script don't leave i'm giving you everything 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 so we're going to say what's uh uh 30 percent of this okay boom so that gives us two thousand nine hundred and thirty six dollars so now that is what he would get okay so we can't get that because he's the one managing the listing and going out and getting the deals and everything. But what we can get is 10 percent or even 8 percent of his. Uh, uh, let's just do 8 percent. OK, 8 percent of his 30 uh, percent that he gets. Boom. That will give us 234 bucks. But me, what I like to negotiate is a little bit uh, under half. So we get 10% and boom. So there we go. We got almost 293 bucks from a listing that we didn't have to reach out to the owner. We didn't have to get the furniture because his furniture be off the chain. Matt's furniture at all of his uh, 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 listings be off the damn chain. So I highly recommend them if you guys are in Mexico. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, so we don't have to furnish it. We don't have to deal with anybody or nothing like that. This is completely remote. So now that is just for one of his listings. Let's say that we want to do this for the rest of his listings. Okay. So he has 65 listings. He got 65 listings guys. And are you guys starting to see the money? The fact that, okay, I got to show you the script and then you'll see how easy it is, but <laughs> the money adds up. So we're going to say, uh, let's say he gives us a little bit under half of his listings. Okay. So we got 200, and ninety three dollars times we'll just we'll just say 30 listings and we can get them booked up okay booked up for months he likes to have monthly uh, bookings right so boom this is eight thousand seven hundred and ninety bucks per month off of listings that we didn't have to structure the deal we don't have to furnish it we don't have to deal with refunds we don't have to deal with any of that extra stuff now what would you send these people so all right so this is the script right here so first of all you want to find airbnbs that aren't getting booked up see he's booked like <laughs> he gets booked okay he gets booked. But what you want to do is you want to find Airbnbs near landmarks that are not getting booked. They don't have reviews or anything like that. And that's perfect. Why? Because watch this. Your blank listing. So that's three bedroom, four bathroom Airbnb listing uh, for only seven thousand dollars per month. I use the word only on purpose 
so that they can feel like, yeah, man, I priced it right, right? People should look at that price point. <laughs> okay, so listening for blank per month is a steal. That's why I'm so confused. So now you're relating to them. You're like, because they're thinking like, damn, why ain't nobody booking yet? It's been on here for three, four weeks. Nobody's booked yet, right? So I was wondering why it wasn't booked up for the year or have any reviews when you offer so many amenities. You see what I'm saying? So the, the best way to sell, well, we don't, we don't want to use sales tactics, but you want to mirror how a person is feeling, right? When they feel that you can relate to them, it, it becomes uh, uh, easier for them to trust you and want to do something with you. Okay. So it says, is also in a good location, but hasn't had any bites yet. It's not the price either. See, so I'm I'm doing uh, uh, canceling, right? So I, we canceling everything out that it could be, so so we can lead them to the path. I'm like, well, like I don't know what to do. But then I say I have an idea of what it could be. You're near a few landmarks that I believe can draw in an extra booking or two this month. Now, that sounds good. I didn't over promise or or anything like that. They don't have any bookings at all. Remember that, guys. So this sounds like paradise to them. I'm requesting permission. Remember what uh, uh, Google said can is illegal as long as you got permission. Right. I'm requesting permission to show your listing to people near these landmarks because I believe this can get you booked for the year. <laughs> Don't that sound good? Because the whole point of putting these properties on Airbnb is for passive income. Like I'm currently in Airbnb and we paid up months and they living good and they happy as hell, right? So it says, I don't need you to pay me. If it works, then we just say, just give me what I just say over there, uh, 8%, okay? Uh, just give me 8%. And we can continue or not. Boom. There we go. So, I mean, that's it. No pressure. What do they have to lose? Nothing, right? So, check this out. So, now, what is the strategy? Okay. So, we'll say uh, uh, um, short term. We'll say uh, houses for rent near... Okay, so we want, watch this, watch this, uh, popular landmarks uh, near, I mean, popular landmarks in St. Louis, okay? All right. All right, so now, boom, let's see. So we have famous landmarks in St. Louis. We got the Gateway Arch, you know, I'm from St. Louis. Uh, we got the brewery. And that's on the south side. Uh, historical landmarks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Gateway Arch, Jefferson Barracks, Campbell House, Grant's Form. Okay. So we'll say house, home, home, houses for rent. So usually this is going to be uh, uh, people trying to like pay and get on the lease. So what we want to do is we want to go after hotels. My bad. Hotels near grants form. Look at that. <laughs> yes, low it. Okay. So now we got hotels near grants form, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. So when a person searches for that, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like they're going to pop up with the regular actual hotels. But people, when they, that's why they created an entire site called Home Away From Home or Home Away. Because people rather stay in the dang on home because you get to dictate what's going on, the noise levels, if there's any people around, where you can park, how much you can eat, and no hidden like fees and all that extra bull crap. So check this out. What we can do is we can either the running ad just like you see right here and we'll name it exact match hotels near grants form st louis missouri and we send them to the listing but not just that what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to play around with the name based off of uh based off of keywords okay so we'll say better better than hotels 
near Grants Farm, St. Louis, Missouri. We want to use Airbnb SEO because this is a parasite. Okay. We want to use parasite rankings. Okay. So we would name this better than hotels near Grants Farm in St. Louis or, or uh three bedroom uh, uh, better than hotels near St. Louis Arch. Watch this. Let's say motel rooms near St. Louis. Okay, so hotels near St. Louis Arch and Zoo. See, this is is good. And then we had another one, another keyword right here. Look, hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool. Okay, uh, so choose. Three bedroom home over hotels are, we'll say, instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this property. Boom. See, we're getting creative now. So now what will happen, we get to leverage the power of Airbnb's parasite rankings and everything like that to rank on the first page of Google. And if you want to, you can put up a super cheap ad for this exact match keyword right here for pennies. And now you'll start getting traffic to the uh, the listing. So what you're going to do is you're once he gives you permission, so you're just going to inbox these people, the people that don't have any reviews or don't have any bookings, you're going to inbox them the script. And once they re reply, you don't have to take any pictures, hire any photographer or nothing. You simply go and uh, download all of these. Or if they have some up, uh, updated photos, you ask them about that. And then you download them. Then you create a profile on here. And then you upload the images. You can even take uh, the same description they got. But you want to remember to use keywords. If you're not good at SEO, then uh, you know. But if you if you're decent, you know, and you and you get the point of uh, of of keyword optimization, you can take this keyword right here, and you can go to ChatGPT and ask for different variations of this keyword, and to write me a keyword SEO optimized description for my Airbnb listing to get people to choose my Airbnb listing over hotel hotels in near St. Louis Zoo, right? With indoor pools, boom. And you just want to make sure that you are listing that this has a pool and is indoor and all of that extra stuff. Soon it's going to be optimized. Now, when any anytime someone searches for this keyword right here, this keyword right here, and then they go into Airbnb, this listing or the listing that you create is going to automatically show up. So you can have a VA or yourself constantly reaching out to people on Airbnb, asking them uh, or sending them this script right here. And when they respond and say, yes, you simply have the VA or yourself snatch the imagery, snatch the images or videos, and then go and create a new listing with the new name. The new name, remember what we said, is instead of hotels near St. Louis Zoo with indoor pool, choose this three bedroom or something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is super simple, guys. And you could just post and post and post and post and post and post, copy and paste listings until you make a crap load of money with this method right here. All right, love you guys. Told you I was going to show you everything. Go in the first pin, comment, join the copy and paste rentals community. It comes with a course. It comes with coaching. And we can't wait to see you. So we're going to reverse engineer how some of my top students are making three to five K easily in the rentals businesses that are copy and paste and how you can do the exact same without having your own inventory of yachts or car rentals. Okay. So now if you haven't seen this interview right here with one of my top students that pulled in over 140 K in the rental business without having any of his own equipment or staff members, then you just need to keep on watching this right now. So what we want to first do is we want to go to Google Trends. So we're going to talk about the exotic car rental niche today. So you go to Google Trends and let me show you what to do next. So you don't want to send promotions through a city or town where nobody is actually searching. So we're going to search for exotic car rentals. Make sure you're following along. 
so that you can know how to do this on your own. By the way, the in, the community, a private community, 97 bucks a month for now is where you will learn all of this stuff in the first pinned comment. So as you can see right here, it says Houston exotic car rental. But we want to look at this area right here. So it says New Mexico, uh, Nevada, Oklahoma, Florida, Wisconsin. But that could be just in the past day. We want longevity. So we don't want to pick off a, bad, uh, a, a past day. So what you want to do is you want to pay attention to these, which ones reoccur as I change the dates. OK, so we're going to go seven days away and see which ones are still trending. So Florida is still on the list and Nevada is still on the list. Now, next, let's try 30 days ago. OK, which ones are still on the list? We still got Florida and Nevada. So that's some longevity. So it's not just a, a, a bump up because of some type of uh, celebrity event or something like that coming to town. So we still have Nevada and Florida on here. So we have some winners, but now we need to know what cities. I mean, I guess you can probably guess in Nevada, it would probably be Las Vegas, Biba. Okay, so now what we want to do, now that we have our cities and everything, <clears throat> we need to know what kind of cars people are actually searching for. So we stroll down here. <clears throat> and one of the first ones you see is the Rolls Royce. You see Aston Martin. You see the Bentley. And you see the BMW. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to put that on our list. Trending <clears throat> cars to rent out. Now, remember, guys, we do not have to have our own vehicles. Okay, okay. We're going to be drop servicing our copy and paste rentals. We'll just say that. So we got BMW. We have we have Bentley. We have uh, Rolls Royce. And don't forget, man, keep watching this because this is how you can make three to five K per day easily. What was the last one? It said Aston Martin. So we'll just go ahead and take those uh, Aston Martin. Okay, did I spell that right? Yeah, I spelled that right. Okay, so now we can close that out. Uh, boom, we close this out right here. So just wanted to show you guys this so you know this is real, it's proof, okay? All right, <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to bump up the prices, and I'm going to show you in a minute why people would purchase, or not purchase, but book rentals through you when they can get it cheaper just going straight on the site i know there's a lot of you guys' questions let me know in the comments was that your question but this is going to be very simple you're going to have a site just like this but the difference is instead of charging uh two you're probably going to change this to a three and i'm going to show you why they'll pay for that so just keep watching so now now we got them on here and we know what cities we're going to do this in okay so what we need now is partners <clears throat> so we're going to go to Las Vegas. We're going to type in exotic car rentals, Las Vegas. All right. And you can have a VA do this part right here. Okay. So partners, inventory, you don't have any vehicles yourselves because I know you're like, yo, how am I going to do this when I don't have any vehicles myself? Well, I'm giving guy, giving everybody the game right now. So what you want to do is you want to type, okay, so we got exact car rentals. Now we're going to put gmail.com, and we're going to press enter. So what it did, what it should have did, is gave us everybody's Gmail in the state or the city of Las Vegas. So now what we want to do is we want to put this in a file. Why? Because we're going to have a VA or ourselves. All we're doing, we're not selling to anybody. We're not getting them as clients. None of that. What we want is their inventory. What we want is, uh, uh, you know, just to make sure we have their schedules and everything like that to make sure that they always have something available. So what we're going to do is hit command A, command A copies all of this. OK. And what we want to do is we want to Press Command C now, okay? Or I meant Command A highlights all of that. Now we're going to go to Chat GPT. We haven't been over here in a while. And what we want to do is we want to extract the. Uh, come on, I'm not logged in. I don't feel like it. But anyway, so what we would do normally, you would go to Chat GPT and you would extract all of that data, 
Okay, just like how I did right here, but only you would do it with ChatGPT and you will tell ChatGPT to extract all of the emails, extract all the emails and put them in a listing format. Because now your, your VA or your AI emailing software or whatever can then go and like email these people for the partnerships. All you need from them is their schedules and their inventory and you need to be updated every morning. That's it. You don't need a sale. You're not trying to sell to them or get them to pay you anything like that. Okay. So now what do you do? How do you get people to book from you and how do you get traffic and everything? So we got <clears throat> BMW, <clears throat> Bentley, Rolls Royce, Aston Martin. First, you need your own platform. The billionaires of today have platforms, Facebook, Microsoft, uh, uh, freaking TikTok owners, Alibaba, Amazon platform owners. So copy success. So what you want to do is you want to search for a car rental site on Fiverr. You just want a template, a simple template site. You don't even have that much traffic yet. So as you can see, 80 bucks. This one is 80 bucks. So boom. We come over here. <clears throat> so what it says is they'll do a landing page, lead generation page. You need more than that. So I would design a dynamic site uh, or you guys can like just make this yourself. Right. <laughs> I, that, I, I wouldn't do it, but you can make it yourself. So now how do we get traffic to it? We're going to take this away. Boom. Now, if we were to try to go about ranking for exotic car rentals in Las Vegas, one of the most competitive cities in the in the, in the United States, it would probably take you a while to rank in here. OK, so what we want to do is we want to leverage those partners. Those partners have addresses in order to have a uh, rank in here. You need to first have an address because I know you were thinking like, man, I ain't got no addresses in Las Vegas. Those partners have extra addresses. They can be residential address other business address. It does not matter. So what you want to do is you want to create Google My Business listings using your partner's addresses. And why would they do that for you? Well, because you're going to be sending sales to their vehicles, to their inventory, booking it out for them, right? And we're going to get to how you're going to profit from this in a minute. No, you're not getting them as a client. Okay. So now... So what do you want to rank for since you shouldn't rank for exotic car rentals in Las Vegas? Well, that takes us back to this list right here. Ooh wee. So now let's come over here. We're going to take exotic car rentals out. Boom. And what we're going to do is press B and see if it starts to come up. We're going to press M. And here we go. BMW came up. Oh, snap. Now, I want you to see the difference. The difference is, is nobody with a Google My Business listing named BMW Rentals. What does that mean? That means that you automatically rank number one when Google creates the new listing for you. You automatically will rank. It's called supply and demand. Oh, my God. And guess what? When you rank automatically, the phone calls will start coming in. And guess what? You can collect payment over phone or through the website that you created that, uh, well, that Fiverr created for you. Boom. So remember, on your sites, instead of it being $12.95, it would be something like maybe $2,500 or, or something like that, three grand. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Okay. So now you know you're getting traffic. So you would do the exact same thing with the rest of these because Google Trends, Google knows what they're talking about. Google Trends says that these are trending there. So we got Bentley. Look at this. Las Vegas Benz uh, rentals. And we rank for this as well. Okay, so as you can see, like there's no competition for this stuff when you actually break it down. We open up the snack pack, boom. Look, it is only one page. Only one page, y'all. So you it's nobody for you to compete with with all of these. And you can just literally go through when you break exotic car rentals down to the actual making model, you don't have competition. So now let's move on. I'll close out chat GPT. So now <clears throat> Why would people buy from you or rent from you on your site that is similar to this versus uh, renting from them like directly? Well, have you ever heard of a site called Groupon before? Well, if you haven't, let me show you real quick. Let's go to Groupon. OK, and then you're going to see why this makes sense, because I know a lot of you are like, man, I don't. 
don't know, man. Sound a little bit too easy. Like, why would they book it when they can just book it from them? Well, guess what? Why would people book from Groupon rather than go to Valvoline? It's a little something called an offer. You can see it right here. You see this little offer right here? You see these offers? Look, 5,000 people bought. 1,000 people bought this one because you can get the deal from here that you wouldn't be able to get from Valvoline in person. They done the hard work on Groupon to be able to get you a deal from Valvoline that you would not be able to get otherwise if you went there in person. So it's the exact same reason why people will pay on your site versus pay on the uh, your partner's sites. And I know another problem came up Well, you're like, well, on Groupon, they charge less. So it makes more sense. Why would they uh, why would they go ahead and pay us more? You're, David, you're talking about, you know, bumping this up, putting a three right here or a four right here. And it's it's called all inclusive offers. Have you ever heard of a vacation package before? Right. You'll go with a vacation package uh, versus just going and buying everything separately because of convenience. People pay for convenience. So my point is this. Watch this. All right. So let's say that I'm coming in from out of town. All right. So I want an experience because I'm in town. So I'll I'll search exotic car rental Las Vegas. I'm from out of town. Watch. This is exactly how it goes. I go to the site right here. I say, OK, boom, I booked up my car, but I got women that I'm trying to see there. Uh, I got friends that I'm trying to see there and I have to sleep. So guess what else you have to do? OK, now I have to book a five star boom hotel. Oh, my God. Now I got to book a five star hotel. You see what I'm saying? Well, guess what? What if we can give them discounts on the hotel? Mm, now you're starting to see why they would pay us more. Not because we have different cars or better cars. These are actually our partner's cars. But we're creating an offer that is not going to be on our partner's sites. Something that's all inclusive so they don't have to go all over the place. OK, so we include the five star hotel. On top of that, we include the five star restaurant for them chicks that they're going to be seeing when they're in town and everything like that. Then we try to see, we, we can have a form on our site. <clears throat> we can have a, a form on our site asking them what things are they planning to do in town, right? We can include a guide, all that type of stuff. Maybe some type of, watch this, tour, tourist, right? Tourist, boom. All right. So we can set up like tours of the city. What about this? Come on. Come on, man. Helicopter. Helicopter. Tour. OK, boom. So now now imagine coming to your site and it says when you book our Lamborghini Lamborghini Huracan, uh, not only are you going to get this deal, but we're also going to include discounts on your helicopter tour of the city, your five star uh, restaurant and hotel experience. These are things that they're probably going to need or do anyway. So it's just about you offering the, co the company that cares the most makes the most. So you can make three to five K per day, just creating these awesome offers on your own platform. Like I showed you how to do that. And this is what my students have done. Just like I just showed you 140 K with the uh with the rental niche so go ahead and join the copy and paste rentals in a pen comment love you guys so i'm super excited to show you guys this today because once you understand what i'm going to show you getting a thousand dollars a day will be easier than getting a nympho after she relapsed out of sex rehab why because we're going to be using proven business models the business model that turo uses if you die if you guys don't know what that is they're renting out other people's car they don't have to have it and this made them the largest car rental car sharing place in the world same business model as airbnb they're bigger than every hotel chain. Why? Because they are drop servicing or leveraging other people's uh, uh, properties for vacation rentals. So now how are you going to do this? We're going to use the example of party bus rentals today. And if you haven't seen my student that made over 140 K within 90 days with this, you can go and watch that testimonial. Don't have time to prove crap. OK, so let's come over here. 
what we want to do is first know where the demand is so that we can control it. All right. So we're going to put party bus rentals and Google Trends. Follow this exactly. You guys should be writing this stuff down, man. Super exciting because uh, I charge people two to five K just to learn this. All right. And right now I'm showing you this for free. All right. So we're going to make sure we're in the United States. I'm in, in Panama right now. So we're going to go to United States. <clears throat> Or you can do it in whatever country, you know, has party buses and the Internet. OK, so as you can see, we have Maine right here, Idaho, Minnesota, Kansas, Mississippi. So why do we care what state it is or whatever? Demand means there is a list of people that are searching for it right now. So you don't want to build a business and think that they will come. They lie to you. All right. So we want to check to make sure the demand is consistent over a period of time and is not just trending for that day. So we want to check to see which states are still trending. OK. <clears throat> In over 30 days. Now, let's see which states are still there. So you notice that uh, Minnesota stays on the board. Let's try 90 days again. OK. Uh, Minnesota is number one. So now let's see what city in Minnesota just constantly has this uh demand. Okay, so we got Minneapolis slash St. Paul. All right, so what we want to do is we want to come over to Google because why we're going to get our partners. Partners for what? We need our supply, man. We need our supply for the demand. So we're gonna go to Minneapolis. Okay. <clears throat> So what you're going to do is you're going to make a list of partners that have party buses. Why? Because you don't have a party bus. We don't want to start this business from scratch. It, people always tell you you need to start somewhere. Why you got to start at the bottom? Why can't you start at least close to the top in the middle somewhere? So guess what? If we look at these people as partners instead of competition, then you have an endless supply of uh, party buses. OK, so you want to pull out a notepad or something similar to this right here. <clears throat> Let me close this up. And you want to uh, make a list of all your partners. That way it starts to look similar to this. These are all of Airbnb's partners. OK, so whenever somebody searches for a home to rent out in a specific area, there is a list of people that have houses that can be booked through Airbnb and Airbnb gets a cut. That's literally what you're doing. Yes, you can do this without a website if you want to. But if you go ahead and get in a copy, copy and paste uh, rentals community below is only 97 bucks. Right. Uh, you're going to get transferred this automatically. You just reach out to us and we'll send you a copy of this page and you just modify it for your area or whatever. Boom. You don't even have to build a freaking you know website and it comes with the irresistible offer and everything that you guys can use if you want to. All right. So now that we know that we're going to Minneapolis, we have our partners. What do we say to them to get us to uh, get them to allow us to use their party buses when we get bookings. And don't worry, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your first bookings and everything like that. So you don't have to run any complicated ads if you don't want to. You can do free methods. We have free and paid methods, guys, when you want to get advanced. But to start off, get your first thousand dollars, guys, you can do the free methods. OK, so look at this script for endless party bus rental partners. This is not you starting some agency. You're not trying to get them as a client. It's a difference. We're trying to get partners. So you don't need them to agree or you don't need them to pay you anything up front. You just need to know some things so that things can uh, be automated later on. So this is your script. It says, this is urgent. There are some birthday parties coming up. How quickly can you send me pictures of your fleet, hours of operation, price difference on the weekends? Because as I started in this party bus business, guys, back in the day, like from then up to now, one thing that I noticed is that they always have different prices expressed, especially for a gratuity over the weekends. All right. So in promotions, anything they might have uh, that they're running currently or coming up or whatever that we can use when we create the advertisements. OK, because then you're going to be using that when you do these irresistible offers on the site. So as you can see, just one of these bookings will be over your thousand dollars a day. If it's a 30 passenger for a four hour block, it can be a thousand dollars a day The 35 passenger. But you want to change the prices based off of where you are and you want to create the irresistible offer so that you can mark up the price and get yourself more profit when you split it with your partner make sure you get a partner 
that has good pricing. That way you can, you know, get a big cut. So, for example, <laughs> my partner in St. Louis, they only charge 400 bucks across the board for a four hour block. That's the deal I got from them. So that means no matter how much I charge on my site, they still stay at 400. So out of this 1300, I still only have to give him 400. How much does that leave me? Do the math. Okay. So now you see this number right here. No, that is not my number. That is a call tracking number that you want to get. I think they got them from three to uh, 10 bucks or whatever. Super easy to get. And guess what? It's going to be transferred to either your partner or I'm going to give you a script that can close the deals on autopilot for you. What it's going to do is when they call this number, it's going to play a recording. It's going to state uh, options. Like they can push a button to hear either one, one, two, three, or four of these options. And they can choose based off of what they hear and even be text images of the party buses themselves, guys. Super awesome. That was in the Godfather of Drop Service, and now it's in the Copy and Paste Rentals uh, uh, private community and course. Strongly suggest you check that out in the pinned comment. Okay, so now... <clears throat> This is just one of the ways that you can go ahead and get one of your first uh, uh, bookings without having to, like, you know, run any ads or, or do any hard SEO. Of course, obviously, you want to start ranking out overthrow these people right here. As you can see, look, they don't they have a huge like demand, but a supply shortage. Why is a DJ ranking number one? for party buses in Minneapolis. Yes, they do party buses and DJing, but like these guys do party buses only. So they should be number one and they don't even have a website, none of them. So that lets you know that this will be super easy to rank in this area right here, guys. So of course it's free to rank in the snack pack if you know what you're doing and we give you access to the uh, Google snack pack attack course as well that will show you how to rank in this area right here. But within 24 hours, you can be getting leads just by putting your listing on Thumbtack, okay, and create your irresistible offer. What do you use as the the uh, <laughs> the freaking description? I mean, I don't know if I were you, but I would use my irres irresistible offer that I have on the site, right? Like, you know, all of this stuff will be my description on my Thumbtack profile. So now, like when they hit back or whatever on Thumbtack or something, if somebody respond back, you can have your VA or yourself just re have this script right here. Uh, they have it to where they have an autoresponder on Thumbtack now, where when somebody inquires, they can automatically get a, a canned message, just like Gmail, automatically. So this is what it would say if I were you. Thanks for uh, choosing to reach out to us. May I ask what about our service listing interested you to reach out? You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. You can just have that one sentence, you know, and then they'll have to respond. The more they engage with you, the less likely they'll go to be looking at somebody else's listening or whatever. If you're calling them and doing this over the phone, then you would just go to the next part. Great. We wanted to uh, you to not just have a party bus for your special day, but an experience. So we partner with a few connections such as restaurants and travel agencies to come up with a memory creating experience for you. So, yes, when you go ahead and lock in your date with us today. Today, whether it's a small deposit or paid in full, you're granted this amazing offer of 10% off all future bookings, a $300 restaurant voucher, plus a vacation for two, all included in this deal today. What card will you be using today? So, yeah, you're going to collect the payment. And remember those partners that you had over here? You're going to reach out to your list of partners and you're going to say, hey, I have I already have the payment for whatever their name is, blah, blah, blah. I already have a payment for whatever their name is, and I'm ready to send you the payment and send you their information where you're going to book them, uh, pick them up and how many hours they're going to be when you're going to drop them off and everything. That's it. You're going to send them their cut. So their cut would be the four or five hundred, however much it is you agreed on. And you keep the rest and they take care of the fulfillment of it. It's super simple. That is copy and paste rentals. Go to the first pin comment, guys. We teach you this. We have a private community. You can get your questions. Uh, answered uh, all of that unlimited text coaching and it's only 97 bucks you would be like it's, it's crazy if you don't get in for that before the price goes up okay all right so i'll see you guys on the inside